Gilbert Arenas is shocked Eric Spolster has been coach of the year post LeBron. Despite his impressive resume, Eric Spolster, arguably one of the best coach in the NBA currently, has never been awarded the coach of the year title. The drought continued this year for Eric as the NBA recently named OKC Thunders Mark Dignall, Minnesota Timberwolves Chris Finch, and the Orlando Magic's Jamal Mosley as the finalists to win this year's Red Auerbach Trophy. Although the success of the three finalists this season is undeniable, it's also challenging to overlook Spolster's commendable job with the Heat, especially considering Jimmy Butler's absence for 22 games during the regular season. According to former Washington Wizards guard Gilbert Arenas on his podcast, Miami's tactician was denied of winning the award during his championship years because he had a super team. But now that the Heat don't have a second superstar behind Butler, Gilles thinks the voting panel should consider what Spo is doing in Miami. According to Gilles Arena, like when his team is good, nah, we're not going to give it to you because you have a LeBron. Okay, there's none now. Even without the star player alongside Jimmy Butler, Spolster has guided the Heat to the Eastern Conference Finals three times in the last four seasons, including NBA Finals appearances in 2020 and 2023. Despite having an all-star big man in Bama Debayo who has been selected to the NBA All-Star three times in the past four seasons, 2022 Six Man of the Year winner Tyler Hero, Miami's talent level doesn't quite match up to that of some of the top teams in the league. As for arenas, you have Jimmy and you have a bunch of dudes that like Come on, if you're saying he's the best coach in the league right now, he's one of the best coaches. He has probably out of everyone the least amount of talent on his team compared to the field that's actually in the playoffs playing very well. He probably has the least across the board. Like when his oh. team was good, you say, nah, we're not going to give it to you. You got LeBron. 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 Okay. All right. Th there's none now. <laughs> right? You have Jimmy and you do have a bunch of dudes that like, come on. Nah, last year yeah, definitely was been a year for him to get it. I think. Well, maybe, like you said, maybe he don't need group. it. He don't need Max it. Drew, well, Steve you gotta, I mean, it's, but you do need it for your resume. But we keep saying, like, oh, he's don't. the best coach in the league right now. He's one of the best coaches. He has probably, out of everyone, the least amount of talent on his team compared to the field that's actually Especially, in the playoffs playing very well. Yeah. Right? He probably has the, the least across the board. And over the last few seasons, I would yeah. say. Like, if we're talking about the teams he has and their record and how far they make in the playoffs compared to other coaches with their talent. Even NBA insider Sam Sharanya agrees with Gills that Spo is one of the best coaches in the NBA, not just right now, but of all time. Speaking on the Run It Back show, Shams also expressed his belief that the Heat coach is yet to win the award. According to Shams, how crazy is it that Eric Spolstra has never won Coach of the Year because year after year, the performance that he puts on as a head coach He's clearly one of the best to ever do it. That is why he got the contract extension he got. Eric Spolster up a resort again when he led the Heat to a win in their second playing tournament game without Jimmy Butler, who is out with an MCL sprain. Then in game two of their first round playoff series against the top-seeded Boston Celtics, Miami Heat pulled off the upset to tie the series at 1-1 heading to Miami. Of course, players like Tyler Hero, Bam Adebayo, and Caleb Martin step up big time. However, you can argue that they wouldn't have done it without Spolstra. Survive the lows that we have. 